Welcome back to Infigyan friends in this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations. Here we are going to take up one very challenging problem from radical equations. Equation is fifth root of x cube plus 2x equal to cube root of x power 5 minus 2x. We have to find out real values, real solution for x. So let's get started. If you want to attempt by your own, you can pause this video and then see the solution. What I will do here, I won't consider the power 15 both sides because that path is very very lengthy and you will get polynomial of higher degree. So what I am going to consider, I will consider the given equation is y. See I, after that I will frame one system of equation. Let me frame and then I will show you. Now equation becomes y is equal to fifth root of x cube plus 2x. This is our first equation we can write. And second equation we can write y is equal to cube root of x power 5 minus 2x. Now I will consider power 5 both sides. So it will give us y power 5 is equal to x cube plus 2x. And this equation I will take cube both sides. So I can write y cube is equal to x power 5 minus 2x. Now you can see, let me write here itself so that you can see easily y power 5 equal to x cube plus 2x. And second equation is y power 3 is equal to x power 5 minus 2x. Let's add both the equation. So I will write 5 y power 5 plus y cube that would be equal to x cube plus x power 5 plus 2x minus 2x will be cancelled out. Now you can see from this equation we can conclude that this is only possible when x is equal to y. See this is the most important step of this solution. Once you are not framing the locus of the given equation or the locus, locus of the given graph that would be around x equal to y. This is the only way to make this complicated radical equation easier. Now equation is easy. I will write here. Suppose this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Let me put y equal to x. So our equation will become y equal to x. So our equation 1 will become x power 5 equal to x cube plus 2x or you can write your equation 2 also this equation also I will write x power 3 equal to x power 5 minus 2x both equations are same you can see if I will shift this minus 2x to the left that is our equation number 1 so only need to solve any one of the equation so let me consider this equation and I will find out solution for this quintic equation. x power 5 equal to x cube plus 2x. Okay, I will take all the terms to left. x power 5 minus x cube minus 2x equal to 0. Now x is common. So I will take x common. So x power 4 minus x square minus 2 equal to 0. So from this product equal to 0, we can conclude x must be equal to 0. And second equation we will frame that is quartic. And it is not only quartic, it is quadratic also in x square. Now we will consider let x square is equal to suppose t. Okay. Now I will put this quadratic equation t square minus t minus 2 equal to 0. Let's find out the value of t. So I will write minus b quadratic formula I am applying minus b so 1 plus minus square root b square so 1 minus 4ac so I will write plus 8 divided by 2. So I can write 1 plus minus square root 9 is 3 over 2. 
So with plus sign we will write 4 over 2 that means 2. With minus sign we will write minus 2 over 2 that is minus 1. And what is our t? t is x square. So I will write x square is equal to 2 and x square is equal to negative 1. Negative 1 means we can write it is i square. As we know i is equal to square root of negative 1 or i square is equal to negative 1. Consider square root both sides. So there will be our solution. So if I will write then from here we will get x is equal to plus minus square root 2. And from second equation I can write x is equal to plus minus i. So but this is complex solution so we will reject this. So so far we have three solutions x equal to 0, x is equal to plus root 2 and x is equal to minus root 2. Let's verify all the three solutions. I won't consider this equation because our substitution was there and once you will frame this equation x power 5 will become x power 3 plus 2x. Here I will put or we can consider x times x power 4 minus x square minus 1 equal to 0. It is minus 2 equal to 0. So let me consider the third one, the last equation. So I will put x equal to 0. So yes, 0 in bracket 0 minus 2 equal to 0. So it is true. x is equal to plus root 2. So if I will put x is equal to plus root 2, then in bracket root 2 power 4 minus root 2 power 2 minus 2. It should come out 0. So let us check root 2, root 2 power 4. Root 2 power 2 is 2 and root 2 power 4 will be 4. Root 2 power 2, so 2 minus 2. So which will be equal to 4 minus 4. So that value will be ultimately 0, which is our right hand side. So this is also true. Now come to the last value, which is minus square root 2. Okay, minus square root 2 in bracket. See, it won't affect the result because all powers are even. Let me write minus whole power 2 minus 2. So it will be same. Means 4 minus 2 minus 2. So value will come out 0 which is our RHS. So this value is also true. So our final solution becomes x is equal to 0 plus minus square root 2. I hope you like this solution. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video. Good luck. Please take care.